index out of range occurs when you're trying to access an element that doesn't exist in a list. This isn't unique to Unity, since it can happen when you program in general. In this case, I have all the Pokeballs here, and they fail to open up and reveal the Pokemon inside. This type of error is normally associated when you try to iterate through a list or an array. Using the for loop method here, there are room for two culprits that can cause the error to appear. The index i in the for loop and the list itself. Here I just have a simple for loop that goes through a list of Pokeballs in the scene to reveal the Pokemon inside. The issue here is that the index is negative one and yes, it is less than the number of Pokeballs, so it would run the code here. However, there is no such thing as a negative one or negative first element in the list. The computer starts off counting the number of Pokeballs in a list from zero. From this list, can we tell which Pokeball is in the negative firsts element? Well, we can't because it doesn't exist. Same goes for having the index being greater than the number of items in a list. Can we say what is the seventh Pokeball in this list? Unfortunately not. With a for loop, we have to make sure that the index is valid and that it refers to an element in the list. As for the game object list, just need to make sure that it's not empty. The same questions from before can be applied here. Can we figure out what is the first Pokeball in the list? We can't because it's empty. A good alternate way to narrow down the culprit to just the list is using the for each loop. Essentially, we don't have an index, but instead we use the individual Pokeballs as indices in the Pokeball list. We only need to worry about if the list is empty or if the list or if it's not big enough. And that's it. I hope this helped you out of fixing that error. Please leave a like if it did. Share this with your programming buddies if you think this will help. Comment down if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.